Hi, this is my review of level C for Right Start Mathematics. We have just finished level C. We completed level B last year and now we have completed level C. Uh, level um, Right Start Math continues to be very enjoyable and a very hands-on curriculum, uh, lots of games, and so we really enjoy learning with Right Start Math. For level C, uh, it starts out, with a re starts out with a review of level B. So the first few lessons are very heavily reviewed. For those of you who completed level B, you will, you will see that it's, that it's there the same again. Uh, something like additions, uh, strategies, like adding a, num a 9 to a number, or adding 8 to a number, or adding other 2 fives strategies, and so on. And then for level C, Dr. Cutter introduces a review, a practice review, which is um, every five lessons you will get reviews. So lesson one, two, three, four, five, then a review. As a, on the lesson six would be a review. And then again, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen would be a review and so on. So it's uh, consistently throughout the entire curriculum. You have five lessons and then a review. Uh, you, we also um, briefly studied Roman numerals, early Roman numerals, and later Roman numerals. We continue to do uh, mental additions for two digits, and she introduced strategies for adding uh, bigger numbers up to four digits. Um, more numbers at a time, maybe even three or four or five numbers at a time, each number of four digits. This one I just want to take a little time to, 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 to introduce you to the strategies that she uses for, for those numbers that I thought were really neat. Something that I didn't know before, so I learned and I was really excited about learning those two myself. So, for instance, here you have Three, these numbers, five numbers of so four digits each, and she starts, I hope that you can see very well, I'm going to bring them really close to the, to the camera. So she starts by having the child cross out all the pairs that make up ten, which is something that we knew that we covered exhaustively on level B. So five and five would make up a ten, so you put a dot on top, and then 2 and 8 would make up a 10, so you put a dot on the top. So you add whatever is left over, in this case 0, and you put the 0 here. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and then you put the two dots that you had collected on top of the second column, and then you do this operation again. Uh, 7 and 3 would be 1, and then 2 and 8 would be another pair and then you check to see which one is left over so here you only have 5 and 4 which makes 9 and you write the 9 so again you have two dots and you put the 2 on top of the next column and you continue on doing this operation so 7 and 3 is one pair 9 and 1 is another pair and you're left here with 2 and 3, which makes 5, so you just write it down there, and then do again. And so on. So you are left with the addition that's really, really simple. But what if you don't have pairs that are up to 10, which is more often the case? So then what you do is you just add, for example, here, in this example here, you would do, for instance, 8 and 8 is 16, so you, you keep the 6 in your mind and put the one dot here from the 10th and 16, and then you have already done this, so then you have 6 in your mind, 6, and 6 is 12, so you keep the 2 in your mind, and then you have 1, 10 from the 12, and then Two that you had in your mind plus seven is nine. You write the nine here, 
and then you do the same as you did before you write the two here and you continue with this mental addition just drop the tens from or the twenties later or maybe even and, and just keep the ones and continue adding it's, it's a really neat way to add it's, it makes it really fast and simple so that's for the additions, uh, the mental addition, the adding bigger numbers, and continue to 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 work on subtracting mental subtraction. We do a lot of that for up to two digits. Uh, we also cover perimeters and areas extensively, and we have uh, we did cover geometry, for which we use the geometry. We use the drawing board. Uh, that comes in the kit, in the level kit, in the level C kit, and we worked with uh, drawing rectangles and squares and diagonals and triangles and equilateral triangles and hexagons and all sorts of shapes. Here, uh, we didn't do the ones with the circles, but otherwise, all, all of the others we covered, and and it was fun. It was a lot of fun doing that. Uh, using the drawing board was really a neat change. Mm. And of course, level C introduces multiplication, which is a biggie. Uh, we did a lot of games for that, and never once did we have to sit and memorize the tables at all. Just by playing the games and doing the lessons that would introduce certain concepts, and all of a sudden my son just knew how to multiply. He just really learned them without ever memorizing. Uh, he got kicked out of the games, uh, especially the one uh, we had to do the memory multiplication. We would pick a game, a, a, a number, uh, let's say a, a table of three, and we would set it up and. And he would just loved uh, trying to trick me into into learning his into into knowing where the 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 cards would go with just by placing them in a strategic place. So these are the these are here the multiplication cards that come with a kit, um, and each. Each pack, each number has its own envelope and um, with the multiples here. So that was really neat. We really learned and enjoyed the, the multiplication games and and it was fun. We did oh, we did fractions as well. Here is the fractions chart. Uh, and also there's another one that comes perforated and you would have to put put it apart that serves to, to do lots of different games uh, or actually manipulating the, the chart, the fractions so that, that we understood how it all, how it all worked um, and I believe lastly we used uh, Dr. Cotter introduces at the very end of level C the tangrams so we played with the tangrams trying to construct different uh, shapes uh, using the different uh, tangrams that are here and, and just so that we could exercise our imaginations into finding more more different shapes out of the tangrams so basically this is level level C what it covers and uh, she does have uh, practice sheets that you're supposed to do at the beginning of the lesson, either before or after the warm-ups. Um, I found that the practice sheets were kind of like an overkill, so we didn't always do them. Instead, we would do games. So I thought it was much more fun that way. And also, my son seemed to really enjoy them much more doing the games as opposed to to doing the same sheets over and over again. So that is the only thing that I dropped out eventually. And uh, sometimes the, the warm-ups towards the end of the lessons, there's a lot of multiplication warm-ups as well with, with practice sheets. And those also we 
we're supposed to time ourselves or, or to time my son and he did do them and he really actually uh, ended up doing them really fast at the end but I also I thought it was a little bit too much so ourselves we just modify them by, substitu by substituting them with the gains any multiplication game would do and I thought it, was, it went much more smoothly that way so if you start to feel a little resistance with your children at least that's what we did we just substituted the, the practice sheets by some games that was the only thing that I thought that I needed to modify to make it fun to continue to have fun with Right Star Math so this is my review I hope you enjoyed it if you want to uh, leave me a comment I would most appreciate it about what you felt was useful or what you didn't thank you for watching and if you need to learn more Please visit my website, raisingaselfreliantchild.com.